Okay, um, what about the rigs? What are we going to do about the rigs? Um, okay, this is really easy actually. It's, it's, it's the same as with the prop because this it, it doesn't have any technical uh, relations to them. It's just for organization and keeping your file structure clean. So um, I'm just going to say uh, do a new character and um, well, first let's do the other way around this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up an animation mentor character for you. Let's take Ace. Here we are. And um, Open up the open pipeline interface again. Go to the asset browser, say characters, and then I say take a new asset and save the current scene into an asset. And it's Ace. Usually I do a version in there as well. So um, you know, Animation Mentor with with the rigs, they um, they have versions and sometimes they change things. And and uh, if you would just swap the characters. You might run into the chance of, you know, uh, the new version is not as compatible with the old version and vice versa. So uh, this is Ace version 2.04. And I say create. Oh, it has invalid characters. Haha. <laughs> uh, and do underscores. Those are valid. Okay, here we go. And um, now I, I, I'm going to reload him. Uh, no, don't say. I already saved him. Okay, here we go. Now we have a new character in our pipeline. And I'm going to open this up again. I'm going to clean it again. Okay. This is where we started in the beginning we have the library folder this is where all the assets go in i'm going to close this up again and in here uh, you see we have a new folder with ace it's the same name as i typed in for the name and in the workshop i have again the same name with underscore workshop underscore uh, the version number so you could save up to 9,999 versions. And, um, uh, whoop, sorry. Um, move that out of the way. Open up the interface again. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see, okay, this is open, it's version one. I'm going to save uh, a master file. Um, it doesn't have any references, so I can't keep it off. It's not going to do anything. It doesn't have any display layers. It's going to not going to do anything. Um, I don't need a comment. It's the first master version. It doesn't really matter. So I'll do just for keeping it clean. I'm going to build a, a a master version now. And then what I could do is if I wanted to change things on the character, maybe build some clothes for him. Or maybe do some um, modifying on the characters, texture it, give him some hair, give him some shoes. Um, I would do that in the workshop, and 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 at a point where I would feel okay, this is working good now. Uh, I would do a new master version and reference that into the new scene. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to our shot. Um, it's in the intro. It's shot one entry. I'm going to open it. Don't save. I don't need to save. I already did that. And then I'm going to go to my asset browser. I'm going to go to characters, Ace. Click actions. This is actually you can click on this up here. It's a menu. Um, and then I'm going to say reference the master file. And here we go. There's the rig. And uh, I'm going to save. The shot. And now, when you when you have a look at the, the reference editor, you see we have the table referenced into the scene, the bottle and the plate as um, 
second generation references and then we have the, the character rig rigged into there um, so actually in this file there's nothing in there and you can you can tell by you know the, the ace character is 7.3 megabyte uh, in size and now we go to uh, in the projects folder we go to scenes um, it's again it's ordered the same as in the menu which is really great and, and really intuitive very well readable and we go into the shot uh, it's the entry we go to the workshop file and here we go it's shot entry workshop and the version and it's 60 kilobyte although we have two characters in there so everything that gets saved from now on in this file you know I'm gonna be also referencing in some geometry it's only gonna be the animation data everything else is referenced and so the whole thing is gonna be super super clean um, it, it's gonna be like really quick file saves um, as with what I do I, I, I sync all my files in, in real time over the internet I have a local work copy on my computer and I sync them to the server um, so when my shot files are small um, because I use references it's, it keeps uh, the traffic low it's a good thing um, okay well I think this is this is kind of the end I think I, I've gone through most of the stuff that's interesting about um, the tool so um, the benefits are pretty obvious I hope um, it's it, it organizes your structure um, even if you're not using the tool the whole structure keeps functional so even if you decide at some point oh, I'm, I'm not going to use that anymore it leaves you with a very very good and, and well structured file and you could always go back and say you know do that manually go to uh, to the scenes and open up those files again you just have to set the project properly in your uh, in, in Maya and go say project set it's already basic it's already the proper uh, um, the proper um, workspace anyways say choose so you could it's using this tool you're hardly ever going to be using uh, the regular open and save and set project things anymore um, and that's a good thing as well because I know that I've been spending so much time looking for files uh, traversing through file structures um, and it's not really worth it um, this is so fast it keeps um, your mind free for doing other things which is good too um, you don't want to be struggling with with folders the whole time but on the other hand try it out and see if it if it works for you because you really want to know what's going on under the hood um, and um, 